Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your YouTube video descriptions and other things in bulk so that you can do all of this on YouTube in your creator studio without having to go through one video at a time like I used to do the hard way and try to edit descriptions when you're trying to remove a link that's no longer valid like in your descriptions like a lot of people copy and paste a template of some sort for a YouTube description so for instance if I were to look at this video click edit you know you'll notice that a lot of my descriptions are fairly similar I I mentioned what the video is about and things like that I usually have a show notes page link in the first couple sentences but then I also have um, if you scroll down and see right here I have like links to my social media profiles and a little more about the video. So for instance, I've been trying to change, I actually changed my Facebook page link to match all my other social profiles. So from Justin Bryant Business being my username for Facebook, let me zoom in a little bit here. So instead of it being facebook.com slash Justin Bryant business if I could get this thing to highlight it is now uh, Mr. Justin Bryant so it matches Pinterest it matches uh, Twitter Google Plus is not going to be relevant anymore so that doesn't matter but uh, Pinterest Instagram Twitter and Facebook are now all going to be the same but in with all these videos, I have almost 800 videos, and here I am trying to do one video at a time. So there is a great way to do this in bulk if you need to change a link or something like that. All you got to do is go to the uh, videos. You can do about, as far as I know, you can just do like 30 at a time, but that should be able to go by pretty quickly for most people who probably, most people probably have less than 799 videos. But um, all you gotta do, click this box there. For the sake of speed in this video, I'll just do the top two. You go to actions, go to description. Now again, you can do this for titles, you can do this for a lot of things. So at append to end, that would be if you want to add your new link. So you would paste your new link in there if you wanted to do that or at the start of your description. I recommend you do it at the end if you're gonna add like a social media link. But that way you don't have to go through and delete the old one, add a new one, if you changed your website or social profile or something. So, or you can go to something like remove. That's what I've been doing. So I go to remove, I paste what I've been removing, which is my old Facebook page URL, click submit. I understand it just basically tells you that you can't do any other bulk actions until it's done so click, click yes submit so then it'll do this for a little bit it'll say pending edit and usually within if you're only doing a couple videos like I am right here um, obviously you'd probably do the full page at a time but as it does this it'll take maybe a few seconds to get this done and then it will give you a little check mark saying it's completed. And then you can see what it looks like after it has finished. So as soon as that's done, you can check it. And it should be deleted without deleting anything else if you did it right. So there you go. It's done. And I'll go to this top video, which was one of the two that I selected. Go down to the, I'll zoom in for you so it's easier to see. Go to that and see there's a space between the Pinterest and Twitter accounts that I have where the Facebook one used to be. So now if I wanted to add, if I wanted to go ahead and add my new Facebook URL, all you do is the same thing and just do, uh, so you would say click these two click actions, go to description, app end to end is what I would want to do. So I'd do like, you know, Facebook 
dot com slash Mr. Justin Bryant, which is the new uh, URL. And you want to make it obviously clickable. So you got to put the necessary stuff in there. Anyway, so you would do something like that, click submit, and you, you basically get to, you already know kind of what it looks like when it does that. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to do a quick little tutorial for uh, doing this because I actually didn't even know about this. And here I am, somebody who has almost 200,000 subscribers and 800 videos, and I didn't even know that this existed. So if you ever need to change something that is kind of been a part of your description template or change something else, obviously they have other actions that you can do as well. That is how you can do it. You can change your monetization settings. You can add like your, your channel name at the end of your title to all your videos at once, ad breaks, all kinds of stuff. So hope this was helpful and I will have show notes in the description at selfmadesuccess.com and you can check for show notes in that link in the YouTube description as well as updated social media links and stuff like that. So hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next video.